It may soon cost you more if you get a parking ticket in Lexington or use the parking garages on a monthly basis. Bossy Prokos explains why parking authorities says the price hike is needed and how much it could bring in. If you think parking tickets are expensive now, buckle up. New changes to downtown parking fines and monthly fees at garages may soon be coming down the road. Lex Park leaders are proposing a new plan to make up for a drop in revenue. They want to raise parking fines and increase monthly rates at two parking garages. When we took over these properties in 2013 from the city, the city asked that we do that, um, we put $6 million in just to keep them adequate. And we're at the point now where we're going to have to put another 12 to 13 and a half million in. So we looked and said we have to generate, you know, to keep these structures going. And so that was really what drove it. The group wants to raise parking fines by 10 bucks, which means instead of $15, you'd be charged 25 for a parking ticket. The second part of the proposal would raise monthly rates at the Transit and Helix garages by $5. Daily rates will remain the same, along with monthly rates at the courthouse in Victorian garages. Parking makes our city viable. There is not an abundance of parking in downtown Lexington. We are the most, um, clearly the most value in parking. If you do a market survey, you will see that our parking structures are the most, you know, the most affordable. So if Lexington doesn't have parking, then we can't have the amount of, you know, Lexingtonians coming downtown. We can't manage our tourism industry, et cetera. Lex Park's executive director says proposed changes could generate more than $250,000. Most people don't realize that we are not, we don't receive tax dollars or government support. So everything that we earn from the parking garages or on street, we put back into the facilities. And as I mentioned, the facilities, the garages, are getting to the point where there's significant needs in terms of keeping them structurally adequate. If approved, the changes will go into effect in September. Urban County Council will vote on the proposal May 16th. In Lexington, Bossy Prokos, Fox 56 News.